What's up everybody? I just heard a knock at the door. I wonder what it is. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Let's take it inside. What's in the box? It says an extra 20 inch slider. That's not what's in there. I packed something else in there because I didn't buy that one. So it better not be in there. Let's see what's inside. Let's open this thing up. First unboxing. Look, mamas. Here it is. There it is. Oh, my bucket seat. So this is what came in the box. I got my rear bucket seat, my junior fork, I got the accessories, which are the crank arms, all the bolts and accessories, and the brake caliper inside. And then I got the frame here, and I got this wide boy 70 millimeter wheel. And it's pretty sick. I mean, I'm not happy with the shipping. There's a couple of scratches and dings on the bike itself but I'll figure that out later right now I gotta leave to work but I will assemble this bad boy and start the drifting so this is my first drift trike got my son a 180 drifter mm -hmm. I liked it so now I picked myself up one so I could ride with him and now my daughter wants one and if she does good at school then she's gonna get one too so hopefully she does a good job so all three of us can go out sliding. Mommy doesn't get one? Mommy doesn't get one because her and the baby are going to shuttle us. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. But anyways, that's my drift track. I'm going to put that together. And like I said, I wasn't happy with the shipping. A couple of scratches here and there, but nothing I can do. I got to head to work and I'll finish this up later. Peace. Yeah, Dad got his drift track, mamas. All right. So beautiful. Okay, we out. Now that my drift trike frame is here, I received it from FedEx, and upon shipping, it got scratched and damaged, but no dents and dings, so that's a good thing. So I'm gonna take this into my own hands and do what I always do to every single bike I have and make it custom. Well, not too custom, but I'll just make it my way, change it up a little bit, cause not anything I have is normal it's always different from when it came from the store or when I bought it so I'm just gonna paint this bike and make it my way and how I like it now's a perfect opportunity since I'm getting credited back for the frame let's do this so like I mentioned this frame got sent to me scratched and abused but no dinks no dents So the one thing I don't like is when you buy something and it comes all damaged and scratched like that. It would look the worst. I cleaned it up, but I'm prepping it for paint. Um, you know, it kind of worked out in my favor because first of all, I don't like things that just come from the store and you just basically put it together and use it. I like to like change it up a bit. 
I mean, I know it's not professional high quality paint with the high gloss and everything, but you know what? I did it. I like it. It's going to look good. I'm going to ride it. I'm going to slide it and I'm going to enjoy it. But I hope you guys all enjoy this little trike project of mine. Like I said, I got this because I got my son a 180 drifter and I basically want to join him. Um, this is a little bit bigger frame for me, so this will be a little fun project for a little family. New set of bikes, a new hobby, new project, a new riding style. So let's get this thing painted. Finish the first coat. Doesn't look too bad. I'm not going for too much of a color change. I'm just going for more of a like panzer gray, like a tank gray. I wanted like a matte finish and then I wanted to match my son's bike so I wanted to have like a hint of lime green so which was nice is that this frame actually came with the green inside already and I'm just gonna add like little accents to the bike um, that are gonna be matching his bike which is like that lime green it's gonna look good so this is the first coat I don't know if you could tell, but it's a nice finish on it. It's kind of bright out here and I can't really see with the display, but that's the first coat right there. All right. Let's let it dry and we'll come back and do a second coat. Peace. What's up everybody? Headed to the backyard. Gonna check on my trike. Here comes Hachi. Yeah, this thing looks good. It's getting there. Look at that. Couple more coats. And this thing's gonna look pretty nifty. Nice and smooth. That's what I like. Yeah, check that out. Alright. The only thing I'm waiting for, um, I got pretty much everything. Uh, I ordered everything, everything pretty much came on the same time. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting for is at my shop I ordered a 2.4 animal tire. Uh, BMX tire, street tire. So I'm just wondering if that's gonna pair good with my Wide Boy Junior uh, front wheel system. Um, probably be a little stretch. Hopefully not too much. If it is, then I have to find something wider. But um, I'm gonna do the second coat and hopefully go from there. Peace. What's up everybody? I'm already on my third coat. Here we go. It's done. Look at that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look at that. Looks good. There you go, better lighting. I just gotta clean up that overspray. Calling this little beast the Panzer. Yeah, Panzer. Look at that. Looks good. I like it. I'll put some black decals on it. Oh, good. So everybody, that's my little project right there. My drift trike slider. I got a couple of other parts I'm gonna be putting together and uh, reassemble it. Hopefully, let it dry a little bit more. Uh, it looks good, I can put it together right now, but I got a lot of other stuff to do. I'm gonna go play with the kids right now. And then put the fork on, the wheel, all the screws, bolts, brake kit 
203 rotor on it. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna look pretty cool. But anyways, that's my drift trike. I got more to this video. Till then, see ya. What's up? Look at that. It's almost done. Put most of the parts on. Gotta finish putting it together. I think it looks good so far. The one thing I did do. See it with this lighting in here. The fork has a carbon wrap because this frame has an opening in the front. I think it looks pretty clean. A little different. 70 millimeter wide rims. Well, with that tank gray, that battleship gray. It looks pretty good. Almost done.